Welcome back. And when we last left off, we had uh, laid up the um, glare shield here. And so here it is released from the mold. And um, it actually came out fine. Of course, it's going to be covered um, with a fabric, probably ultra suede. Um, but anyway, here you can see it's been put in place, just dry fit there. So you can see, you know, with the way I designed it, it's very low uh, glare shield. It's not like really high, like a Cessna 182 or even a Diamond DA40. It's very easy to see over it. So here's going to be kind of your point of view if you're in the passenger seat here. And uh, over on the other side here in a second, you'll see what it looks like from the uh, pilot side, from the left-hand side. And just got a bit of foam holding it up at the back there and some clamps on the side. Uh, anyway, the part came out um, at six pounds and we decided we laid it up too heavy. So we're going to redo it again at about half the thickness because it's just too strong and uh, it doesn't need to be that heavy. But uh, it looks good and um, I'm happy with how it looks. And so then you can see, there you can see how low it is um, from the point of view of the front. So you're going to have great visibility in the Raptor with this low glare shield. So we'll be laying up a, a new one of that probably uh, sometime after Oshkosh. So next up, there's uh, more work continuing on these door inserts. So those transitions are just getting some uh, smooth off sanding. And then of course, you know, we had to prime the back of it where it um, mates up to the uh, inside of the roof mold. And of course, then there's more sanding. So there's a bunch of work to be done on these things, but you know, it's only, it's a, it's a tool, so once you've done it, you've done it. You don't have to do it again. Uh, here, Jeff is actually priming up the um, uh, mold, or sorry, the plug here for the uh, braces that uh, align the nose gear when it retracts. And then the other one here is the um, braces that hold the glare shield up that add support for the glare shield. So they're uh, ready for some uh, sanding, um, you know, because they get sanded and then primed and then sanded again. And here's the nose compartment door after it got primed. So again, that uh, gets a guide, the pink guide coat sprayed on there. And another round of sanding. This time, it just basically takes the orange peel off. And then we can see if there's any areas that need to be repaired or just fixed or filled. So here's the underside of the uh, one of the door inserts there. And you see Jeff has primed the back of that. And there was, because that was all that putty that we sort of put in there, Manually, there was a bunch of fill that was required there and just, you know, sanding and smoothing out because those faces there need to match really nicely up to the roof mold when the doors are inserted or the door inserts are bolted in. And uh, here's the nose gear once again, nose gear braces, and they've already had their sanding, so they're getting close um, to being ready to wax. And then there's the uh, nose compartment door getting its sanding. So the guy's just, you know, flying through this stuff. In fact, they're so fast that I'd miss some of the video sometimes of their progress. And there's the nose door one again and pretty much all done. So I'm not sure what's next. I think there's a couple of little spots that need to be filled and then um, it'll probably just go to the 320 and then 400 and then wax. And likewise with these guys, those are again the braces for... Um, the ones that support the glare shield. So they've basically been sanded again. And here's the other door insert. Uh, still need a little bit of sanding on the back there. So we're getting pretty close. Uh, the door inserts will be bolted back into place uh, tomorrow. And then um, we'll be finishing off cutting the core and getting ready to actually lay up that part um, before the end of the week. So there's uh, the inside of one's already been waxed. And one coat of wax on there needs a couple more. Uh, so it's really moving along nicely and we are still on schedule for having the roof laid up and popped out and trimmed off um, before we head off to Oshkosh. So looking to have a nice um, photo of having the roof on top of the f fuselage. And in the meantime, I've been working on getting ready to do the door skins, uh, obviously left and right. This is the right-hand side one. And you can see that's the little indent there for where the door handle will be um, embedded. So it's like a flush mount handle. So that's coming along. 
And lastly, the presentation I'm doing up at Oshkosh has been moved from Wednesday morning to Thursday morning. It's still at 8.30 a.m. And I'm looking forward to seeing a bunch of you guys and girls up there. So that'll be fun. Anyway, that's our update for the first half of this week. Thanks again for watching.